one man is facing charges after allegedly filming a 14-year-old girls hockey player showering after practice. The Breezy Point police chief says last week, 32-year-old William Diffley used his phone to tape the girl showering during a summer camp. Our Scott Sheehan has more in Breezy Point. Hockey camps take over the Breezy Point Ice Arena during the summer. Most camps are held without a problem, but last week the Minnesota Girls Hockey Coaches Association rented the ring from the Breezy Point Ice Arena, and one of the MGHCA camp athletic trainers, William Diffley, is facing charges after he used his phone to film one of the players showering after practice. A 15-year-old observed uh, um, the suspect using a cell phone to view around a privacy wall in the uh, one of the girls' locker rooms that are in the, uh, the ice arena, and uh, confronted him and uh, he left. The Breezy Point Ice Arena manager says while the athletic trainer wasn't an employee of the arena, the security measures used by the rink are what helped the police identify and arrest Diffley. We talked to the girls, we called the police. Um, that was about 9.30 and by 11.30 we had, um, we had a name and we had him on tape coming into the, the back of the arena and exiting the back of the arena following the reports of the witness. The Breezy Point Ice Arena has hosted three months worth of hockey summer camps here for decades without incident. And the rink manager says his staff is working to reassure parents their kids are safe here. Unfortunate situation, but it was a good opportunity to bring it up to, the, to, to my staff and sit down and talk about it. We do have a number of um, security measures in place as far as, you know, cameras and recording and, and our doors lock at a certain time of the night. And it showed that if something does happen, we can find out pretty quickly, you know, what happened and why it happened and where it happened. Freeze says they've told their campers to stop showering after practice indefinitely and are considering what the appropriate response is towards the MGHCA who ran the camp and have been coming to Breezy Point without incident for almost 10 years. In Breezy Point, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. A Minnesota Girls Hockey Association representative tells us they've cut ties with Diffley permanently and at their next meeting they're going to re-examine how they hire and train all staff to prevent this from happening again. And the Breezy Point Police Chief says the cell phone was seized during the arrest. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.